So, uh, I guess I revealed a secret that the government didn't want me to reveal, and my computer crashed mysteriously. It's it's a frog spiracy. Now I'm gonna play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. We're gonna forget about this whole thing, but I, I have to let you know that there is something extremely strange about me telling you about this conspiracy and then me g going offline just out of nowhere. So I'm sorry, whoever's out there. Okay. But I, yeah. I have to, I have to play the clip. They need the need to know. They need to know. Select again. Bible for 400, please. During the second plague, these amphibians came out of the water. Stephen, what are frogs? Right. What are frogs? Um. Okay. Clearly, David knows something. What are they? But, like, what are they, though? Anyway, uh, this is the moment that you've all, some of you all have been waiting for. And it is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And it is a game that is based on a word that isn't real. <laughs> Kidding. Revengeance is a real word. However, it didn't sound like it at first, and I had to make sure it was real. I had to make sure Konami or whoever wasn't just making this up. But it is real, and I had egg on my face three years ago or whenever whenever it came out. But um, this is something that I've been kind of looking forward to playing for quite a while now. And this is... Hang on a second, I gotta get my controller. Um, I don't know if I should play this with a controller or with a mouse and keyboard. But I'm gonna try a controller first and see how that works out for me. So, we'll do that. Okay, now give me one second. Let me get this all set up. Okay. All right. And here we go. Use a fight stick controller. Uh, a lot of people are saying use controller. All right, welcome to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This is a game for about riding, and it's also a game about um, about the future and politicians, I guess. <laughs> so maybe this is the game we need right now. Also, whoa, it's loud. Developed by Platinum Games, you know them. They made Bayonetta, they made a lot of great shit. And, um, also this is the furthest along in the timeline of Metal Gear, in the Metal Gear universe. So this is, this is as far as we've gone in terms of the story. Hard mode. I'm gonna do the tutorial, guys. I, I'm gonna do hard mode because I do want to have some level of challenge. I do. And I also want to have fun. And I've heard that normal, it was not fun for some people. I've done some research. Let's begin with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. Okay. You can jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and easily. Okay. So you may remember this character, who was bleeding milk at, <laughs> at one point. Um, I need to change the camera's vertical, because it's not like Mario Sunshine, and I'm very used to Mario Sunshine right now. Um, the graphical options, I, I pushed all the way to the, to the max.
Okay. So we got Ninja Run. Everything's called Ninja something, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Well, the game looks good. Um, Raiden looks awesome. His animations are great. It's amazing how quickly Raiden has become one of my favorite characters in the Metal Gear universe after me not really caring for him early on. Also, I may have to invert the other camera control because I've been used to Mario Sunshine and I think it's more like Sunshine like this. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is this is more like Sunshine. Sorry. You can also attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. You're, you're in the your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. Someone said they're they're here for the butt grandpas. Oh man, it's that platinum. Someone in chat said they're triggered by my controls. Dude, Mario Sunshine. That's exactly how they are. Platinum has a way with controls, don't they? Well, sadly, again, I was gonna say, butt grandpas I don't think are in this game, so don't expect... Don't expect the grandpas. And Raiden is not a grandpa, because Raiden has milk blood, and milk keeps a body healthy, wealthy, and wise. Very strong. Strong blood. Now then, let's run a basic battle diagnostic. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. Yeah. I'll neutralize. Oh, so good! I love it! Oh. Show me how to parry, bro. Oh, combat blades! On, on the feet! Foot blades! Blade mode is awesome. Holy shit. Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same I direction. I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. How you parry, it is the keystone of your defense. Listen, guys. <laughs> Controls are so good in this game that you can't move your body freewheel no longer tied Draw down. In as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counterattack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. I will watch my opponent's moves, you know that. Technical problem for a second here. Um, just checking something out. I think I'm gonna have to re-invert that back to normal because it's that's fucking with my uh my L button, the the blade thing. Yeah guys. I'm gonna just have to get used to it. That was a block jabroni? Oh, okay. I'll have to learn how to parry as I go then. Okay. So far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader. I will make an effort to parry, I promise. The will of a strong people. So ready for this right now, man. 
Resident Evil 5? And one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well. Yo, is that riding in a suit? Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> Why is he so dapper? I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. That's right. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. PMCs. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. This game looks good. Visually. I want Johnny to shit him. There's a self. saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. I fucking love Quentin Flynn's voice acting, it's the man. Code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. It's Reno and Rude together in the car. Look. Right. <laughs> Riding in the bald guy. <laughs> it's the Turks. <laughs> Clear the road. This is official state business. Oh, shit. Does the sheath just like heat up that blade? Oh my god. <laughs> I love how the dude on the turret. Oh! Holy shit! I was gonna say, I love how he's a robot. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That face was great. It's like he knew he shit posted. That's a fucked up future. Cyborgs and like people with metal face implant things. In this future, we return to swords. We are going to die. Stay calm. He's got friends on our twelve. Vibro swords. I'm on it. Guard the prime minister. Oh shit. It's business. It's business time. I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say it's time for business that is business time. Ooh. Where'd that come from? Holy shit. The technology in this game. Well, that was a nice attack. It looks really good. Take self-repair units from your foes to replenish your own supplies. 
Yo, did I just chop, chop down a tree? Accidentally? I just chopped a tree down, as Steve Rule would say. You're not gonna give me a chance to parry, are you? Just exploded into blood. I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of wonky camera movements because it's opposite Mario Sunshine. Oh, I remember. Yeah, this was advertised. This is one of the big features of this game. The the targeting. It's so Bayonetta. I mean, obviously, but... By the way, Bayonetta 2 is probably one of my top three Wii U games. I would recommend it highly. If anyone here has not played it. Oh, that's awesome. That, that is so cool. We need a sequel to this immediately. I haven't even finished it. I already want a sequel. <laughs> Riding the lawnmower. Physics. Oh, best tree physics. This tree's too big. No, it's not. No, it's not. This tree is not, in fact, too big to cut. I love it. I'm busy. Dude. Can't you see I am cutting up trees and people with no discrimination between the two? Side of that barricade. You got it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, holy shit. Oh, my God. There's nothing left! It's just chicken nuggets now! This guy's body is just chicken nuggets! Holy shit! I- I- Yep, yep, I'm- Really, really upset I haven't played this game earlier, but I guess it's not too late to rectify this mistake, huh? If you can't cut through the barricade, try the fence, huh? Easy.
Metal Gear Ray? Is that an upgraded ray? What is that face? It's the fucking Juggernaut from X-Men. Goodbye, Rude. That's a good face. Look at that smug shit-eating grin. Wh whoever these dudes are, this and the previous dude that looked Italian. They are... They have the best troll faces. Stop! <laughs> so you're Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. <laughs> Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed like, to make a living? It's like the same story. This is your answer. In every Metal Gear game. <laughs> this is what it. makes it Metal Gear. Don't worry now, I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. Is it true that this dude's voice actor is the same as Winston? Is this game really going to put me up against a Metal Gear Ray in the first 10 minutes of gameplay? Yep. What missile? There we go. It's no, there's no dodge button necessarily like in Bayonetta. Not like, you know, you can't just like roll out of the way. So it's a little different. I kind of have to retrain my brain a little bit, but. What's- there's a lock on but hang on a second. Wow, it got really loud. It was really low before, now it's really loud. Um... Hang on. RB, bumper, it's the bumper. Okay. I got it. <laughs> Already on it. There we 
here we go. Almost dead. Get fucked, Ray. Would love to. Gladly. Apparently, I can parry those attacks, but I'm still not confident in how to parry yet, so I'm not gonna try. Rules of action! <laughs> what the fuck is this music? <laughs> Wow, this game is hype as fuck. I'm gonna use that word. I never use that word, but I'm using it right now. It's fucking... That's what this game is. Dear God. For a shot. Very good. But do not rest easy just yet, huh? He's on the other side this is of my victory building. spin. Go. Juggernaut. Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. Just random explosions. It still works. Oh my god, another one? Oh, it's the same one. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, 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 I don't know what to do. I took damage. That's not how you parry. That's not how you parry at all. <sighs> There's a dodge? What's the, what's the dodge move? Hang on a second. Just, just one moment, please. You can't parry the beam. Um, I, this is hard mode. You unlock the dodge later in the game. You can't parry in the air yet. You have to purchase dodge. Gotcha. Alright, thank you. So that didn't... I <laughs> quite dodge that, huh? Wrong button! Yeah, wrong button! Yeah, you wanna slide? That's not how you do that. And this is where the true test of my skill comes in, and you find out I'm actually really terrible at video games all over again. Use blade mode to take out those heavy missiles. I never doubted it.
see you later. Okay, but you gotta aim in the direction of the attack and press X. When you say X, you, you don't mean the jump button, right? I did it before, yeah. I, I was able to do it before. I, I just haven't had a chance to do it properly. I don't know the timing yet. I don't know the enemy tells. It's gonna take time, guys. I know. I know you're gonna get frustrated watching me stream this, but I, this is the first time I've ever played this, so you gotta bear with me. Be patient. Amazing. So, rules of nature again. Wow. That's a long ass blade. Platinum sure knows how to start a video game. Yeah, this is this is just bayonetta and a half. Holy shit! It's oh, oh, no, come on! No, no! Oh, fuck! Whoops! I was gonna say this is basically how bayonetta two starts. Lots of things getting cut in half in this game. I like that. I like when things get cut in half and you can see their cross section. Sonic lately. Zack is Sonic, Raiden is Sonic, everyone's Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Platinum does insane animations so well. You, you believe that a human can do shit like this when you play a Platinum game. Action set piece after action set an piece. Oh, I don't actually have to jump. If I hold the R button, it's just Raiden does all the things on his own. Oh, they seem calm. Nice and painful. What about all the good things war has done for us? Oh, 
why don't we ever hear speeches about that? <laughs> Jobs, <laughs> technology, a common purpose? <sighs> Raiden, forget me. Stop him. <clears throat> you ain't listening. <laughs> I got in? Wait a minute, he, what? All we're saying. Give war a chance! This guy ain't Italian, is he? Oh! Nice inversion of the John Lennon song, asshole. No! But couldn't he have done that like 10 minutes ago when he first got the guy? What's all the dramaticism about? He's Brazilian. He's Brazilian. Gotcha. Reminding me how much I love Bayonetta 2, and that, that is a good thing. All right, here we go, motherfucker. Teach me how to parry. Don't be shy. Did I, did I get a few of them in there, or was that just blocking? Not half bad. Still. Twitch chat just froze. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure if the Twitch chat, if my internet is up. I don't know if I'm down or not. Hang on. Twitch chat just stopped. It's good. All right, it's good. It's good. Hang on. Hang on. We're good. Sorry about that. That was just a weird freeze on my end. But as long as I'm still here. No, 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 dude. Stop. Deny your weapon its purpose. Ow. Ow. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. Oh no, right in your eye. Now you can be like Snake. I'm sorry, Big Boss. Holy shit, it's Asura, hi! The prophecy was true. Stannis the Menace, Baratheon. That's all right. Those are easily to, easy to replace. <laughs> Shit. Not again. Exactly. Exactly. Red, are you all right? You're almost this clear of the tunnel. Right Just hang on. Goodbye. Never turn your back to an enemy. Wow, I'm really bad at video games.
That was his last real limb. Oh man. This Poor Raiden. This when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. His like last connection with humanity is now cut off and rotting away in a train tunnel somewhere. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> I was half expecting James Bond to show up. Take the shot! Get to waiting, huh? Yeah, it doesn't work if it's just some rando. Like, that looks like Saddam Hussein. Only Snake can say that. Come on! Maybe Kaz. Us, you fucking clod. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't been introduced to this lovely character yet. Give me another few hours and I'll know who Boris is, maybe. Kind of looks like a jacked Freddie Mercury, though, a little bit, doesn't it? Boris actually worked with Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich. Let's get rid of the mouse. That's an X-Men jet. Just as I said that, I thought to myself, keep your stupid comments in your pocket. So far, so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. So why does Raiden have mechanical jaw, whereas previously he had real people jaw? Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, oh, it's an upgrade. Repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy sidewalks should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and Professor Hojo? extract their fluids. Oh they're god, terrible. that face. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three lights out closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I mean, they're no Otacon. I've been all over the materials. But they're Raiden's people. That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs... Brain-jacked. The Future speak the for... Have survived have no way they're of fucked. ...opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsayev, 
leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Imani's oh. killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Did he just do the thing that... Other guy did? I got my eyes on you. Drebin. I have you. This brings back memories of quiet splashing around in the rain, or rather when they modded Sorry, that's awesome. Ocelot. To be, um, in the rain. Ryder, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. Yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up barrels and trees now for the next 20 minutes. So, hope you enjoy. Cat. What the fuck? Nice skills. Cat is the secret hidden boss at the end of the game. The untouchable, unbeatable secret hidden boss. Fucking ninja cat. Nope. No, it won't. Like you, eh? A skilled state of the art ninja. Quality moves. Like, Raiden, why are you taking out the car? It has nothing to do with the enemy. Slow mode, blade mode, got it. Slow mo blade mode, got it. Slow mode, blade mode, got it. I've only been playing for a little bit. Uh, I will, I will get it. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. 
Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the... What is Otacon doing right now? Like, where is he? Yeah. Get him on board. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. Predictable. But it makes you wonder, where Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <laughs> Kevin, now's not the time to joke. Like I said, there's still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Jack is being all edgy, and Kevin's like, shit, man, I just it's wanted a cold, joke. Right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. <laughs> Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. I like Kev. Right. Kev is trying to make Raiden into a real person again. Raiden's all, all concerned with like, I'm the Reaper of Souls. Raiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, You've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from C's nano paste. Precisely. Electrolytes. <laughs> electrolyte absorption. Like this the things in itself. As your Gatorade is linked that plants love? Your fuel cells. Simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, uh, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might Doctor. say. Doctor. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Hmm. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. <laughs> Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, Fourth don't you? wall, almost? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. <laughs> oh my god, anyway, Raiden. I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. <laughs> Ooh Indeed. Oh, it's Indeed. a spicy dialogue Indeed. today. Splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. <laughs> Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Alrighty. <laughs> uh... I see you found the grenade. Yeah, a new type. Intended for use against vehicles, UGs, and cyborgs. Duh. Shell design is first class. The charge, even carbon nanotube compound armor, cannot fully block. Sounds like we should keep a few on hand. Yes. Well... <sighs> what? They don't work as promised? No, the specs are just fine. It is only... Well, if you want quality, you have to pay for it. That much, huh? Triple the cost of standard grenade. And Desperado's got a bunch of them. I'd love to look at their annual budgets. Most likely they have good relationship with manufacturer. I think they got insider price. This would be easier if we had a few more friends like that. 
So did I unlock this door yet or no? Raiden, you need to head inland. Raiden, your body has been programmed to stay within the designated mission area. Relax. You do not have it's just authorization. Don't take it personal. It's in customize. I was afraid to hit customize because it said it was going to hit the, get me back to the last checkpoint, but this is fine. Updated version, faster, more detailed feedback. Uh, right into freely, freely, freely sidestep enemy attacks in any direction. So this is the dodge, correct? People were telling me this is a good one. What the hell? What are these? Whoa, Gray Fox! Gray Fox! I was gonna say, what is this Power Ranger shit? Hmm. Used by Frank Yeager. Upgrade. It's expensive shit. Oh, the other ones feature different combat benefits. Let's see. For trace status, this grenade throwing death machine. Medical support personnel's uniforms. Um cells against UAVs, tanks, and attack helicopters. So these these outfits are actually not just cosmetic, which is cool. There's the aerial parry that you guys were talking about. Yeah. Let's 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 upgrade defensive capabilities real quick. The fox blade is blatantly overpowered, is it? Okay. So that's probably worth the cost then. Right, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. Tom, it's me, Marcus. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. So there's dodge. I was also told to do the um, Zenzetsu tutorial. I will next checkpoint. Zendetsu. Zen. It's Xander Holyfield. tutorial now. You, you bastards. VR missions? I just want to kill the boxes. I want to destroy the box. Your 
body comes equipped with a technique we call blade mode. Let's begin by assuming the fighting position. Assume the position. Good. Now use blade mode to strike all of the targets. Now remember, blade mode exacts a heavy toll on your fuel cells. Replenish your energy by attacking enemies. Your blade will absorb their electrolytes automatically. I, I love that they're Try called electrolytes. Try your fuel cells back to maximum now. Standard cyborgs you can dismember immediately, no problem. Other fools will not fall so easily. You will first need to attack and damage them to some degree. So wh where is the Zendatsu now, tutorial? The Zendatsu no. <laughs> Never mind. Got it. Activate blade mode with full fuel cells and you will automatically analyze the ideal cutting position. Execute it successfully and you will seize your full self repair unit and restore some of your vitality. Now try it for yourself. Take the enemy's repair God damn, unit man. before he falls. <laughs> I see. I, I just did it really poorly, but I see now a little bit. Next, let's review special attacks. Approach a target from the rear or above without being noticed, and you can eliminate them with a single strike. I call it the ninja kill. <laughs> wow. Wow, you're you're all grown up now, Raiden. You're a you're a big boy. Finally, That's right. I'm a big boy. I make my AR. own poop. Enhanced AR adds several layers of information to your augmented reality vision. Use it for additional intel on your enemies or to see new aspects of your surroundings. Just remember, enhanced AR is automatically disabled as soon as you attack. <laughs> And run too, you can't run with it. Contact. I see now. Well, there you go. Chop their bodies freely. <laughs> Cut off their left arm during Zen. That's you to get bonus points. Okay. You know, I can't guarantee I'll get all of this in the first 10 minutes of the game or first two hours of the game, but I'll try my best to remember all this stuff. I definitely will fuck up from time to time, so if something like that might upset you, then you probably don't want to watch the stream, because I'm not going to be performing at, at peak performance at all times. Um, you know, it's on hard difficulty. I might die a lot. However, what I can promise you is that I will make terrible jokes. I will do my very best, and we get to look at Raiden's butt for at least 90% of the game. So that's that's pretty good. Like you those those three are in the bag. You got that. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them or approach from behind.
Excellent, Raiden. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Thanks, Boris. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. See, I'm now starting to learn about Boris. I'm learning that Boris is my only true friend in this world. I beamed that one up. That was a, a bean job. Whoops. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Well, give me your left arm at least, dude. Am I not- am I hitting it at the wrong time? A am I not, um... Fucking... Am I- am I hitting it during the wrong blue? Cause there- there seems to be... I didn't save the ho hostage. Then needs to chill out in Zendatsu. Zendatsu. Okay. Aim with the right stick. Got it. Oh, there's a lot going on here, guys. Ow! Fuck off, PMC! Nice. Still a B, but really I'll take right. it. Now, I'm learning. Heading for refinery. I sure hope I don't get any more hostages killed, though. Alright, cool. Thanks for the advice, KY. I will definitely take my time. Yeah, I thought you just had to slash like crazy, but I'm gonna aim my Zendatsus. 
I gotta aim the Datsus real quick. Whoops. Oh, good thing they didn't see that. Also, people want me to do some codex. Looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely going to see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. How are we doing, Courtney? You're looking more. good on our end. GPS and audio-visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual. No longer have to call Mei Ling. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <sighs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been... I'm shaking the controller. Nothing's course. happening. I keep asking myself, where would an anti money faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. <sighs> You're right. Raiden sounds grizzled. Thanks. He sounds like he's sick of everything. Raiden, what was your strategy for fighting the geckos? You said to beware the long legs? Yeah. When they're standing straight up, they've got a longer reach than you'd expect. Once it lifts that leg, you better be ready to get the hell out of the way. So these self-repair units and the other cyborgs, they mean they can heal themselves at any time? Indeed. It is typically a slow process. Not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. And you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? Certainly not. We removed all extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed, you know. Healing wounds is extraneous? Your ability to absorb the nanopaste agent is far more efficient, Raiden. With it, your wounds heal almost instantly. I know, but... And a standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. No, it doesn't. Don't be silly. Simply avoid taking damage and you will be fine. <laughs> yeah, simple. Okay, yeah, that's all you have to do. Just to avoid dying, don't take hits. To kill the enemy, hit it until it dies. Oh, I should have pressed the thing. Whoops. I, I didn't realize that was a potential action. Oh, I was definitely attempting to block that.
if I can get some. I fucked that one up. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it little by little. It's gonna take some time. I'm gonna try my best to take to to not spam. My, see, the the adrenaline runs so high that when you go into the Zandatsu mode, you want to just fucking spam it and chop them up into little pieces. But that is not how it works. You have to take your time and aim, and really, you know, like it's it's a it's a mind fuck. It it's. Or a, or a body fuck, actually. So how about that rocket launcher, huh? Oh, you, you can actually take out this bridge. I gotta, I gotta check that out. Still getting the, the fucking camera wrong. Because again, Sunshine... I've been playing Mario Sunshine, for anyone who hasn't been watching the streams. And, um, for some reason, the, the x-axis, which is left and right, is it is reversed for Mario Sunshine's camera controls. So I tried inverting them here, in this game, to make it easier for myself. But the problem with that is, then when you do Zendatsu mode, it makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, these are destructible. an electromagnetic barricade. Maybe expecting UG or cyborg attack, duh? Duh. Roger, wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Uh. From the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Oh, hey, Joel. Uh, is the game still as slicey? Yes, it's very slicey. Sliciness is very- is, seems to be very required. Uh, is that what you mean? Oh, new VR is added, okay. Should I be doing the VR missions, you guys think? Or is it just- just for fun, extra bonus stuff? Okay. Seems like a lot of people are, are saying it's just for a bonus, just for fun. I'm planning on just kind of doing the story, just going through and, and really uh, experiencing the full impact of whatever the fuck this game's story is all about. Oh wait, PMC's in war. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so wait, how many years after Metal Gear Solid 4 does this come out? Did this, uh, t does this take place, not come out? <laughs> I know, I know how long it took to come out after MGS4, but, um, what's the, the timeline like? Show yourself. This is four years after Metal Gear Solid 4. 2018. Got it.
the chat is my codec. You guys are my colonel, Otacon, and everyone else. Is this... Fucking Warhammer? Oh, it's a dog? Doggo. Talking doggo? I have prototype. Interface prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> what? <laughs> These are stupid questions, and you're a stupid person. I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. This music is reminding me of Crisis Core. But I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! <laughs> And screams. So it's a blade wolf. It's an odd looking duck. All right. So give me a chance to parry, bro. for love what am I fighting for Fuck this attack! No, 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 no! Stop that shit! You will die. Help me! Oh, oh no! No, I need health. I don't need one of these.
forgot I had those. I'm not gonna get any achievements, but that's all right. Ow. I, I kind of made the same mistake of going buck wild on it and I didn't get the thing. Whoops. What is this music? <laughs> Use your illusion, Axel. Get fucked, doggo. What was that about consciousness getting obliterated? I didn't pick up the thing. I, I walked it. Wow. I walked in the general direction of the thing. But I didn't actually pick it up. Well, that sucks. How'd the other guys die? They just died? Alright, I'll take it. Nod. The ward. Hard. I can barely see you riding. Couldn't see him. Couldn't fucking see him. God damn it. It's like Temple Run. Vinny, you missed a collectible? Gotta get every collectible. Hang on. Oh, there's a rocket lawn chair. too far behind before. That was the real problem. Oh my god! It's like Tom Cruise movie! How? Oh, well there, there's an answer.
How, how, what? Am I missing something here? There. Oh, did it just get, did it just fucking crash into the pillar? God damn it. Can't parry missiles. Well, there you go. That's that's another way to do it. This game is just a series of fucking intense moments. And just after a boss fight, too, my god. Y you'd expect the game to throw some goons at me for a little bit. Oh, it's these things. I'm gonna be pretty stupid to try and hide here. Looks to me like Russian spies. Hey, nope, no Russian spies here. No one's hiding here. No one's a cyborg. No one's making noises and shooting things like helicopters down. Again, I forget to do the thing. Amazing. My health. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this game is fun as fuck. Um, I think I glitched a little bit. I like to do that. Intentional or not. So that's where they're holding up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely I let a hostage die. Yeah. Data stored in your I like to hand. do that from time to time. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it. You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit.
so I get past the gate and into the hotel. Then what? This road ends at the hotel. Enter and you should be able to reach a hill from the roof. That hotel was used by the nomenclatura, high-ranking Communist Party bureaucrats. All destroyed now, of course, but in Soviet days, full of luxury. Full anyway, of luxury. You should be able to reach a hill from hotel roof. There are more Soviet ruins past that hill. Get through there and you will reach the rear of the refinery. Head for the hotel roof. Got it. Ryzen, allow me to give you a recap of visual augment mode. Why? Is it different from my AR just We'll get to that in a moment. Modern tech gives us the I'm good. ability to I'm good, display dude. assorted information streams visually. This is referred to as AR. That's how I can see my Soliton radar and who I'm talking to on the code. Right. But if too much data is presented in this manner, the user runs the risk of having an incomplete view of the real world. Yeah. See, I feel like that's a the lot of people. Windows got a bad habit of getting in the way when you drop into chat. Of course, of course. Typically, I'd simply call, leaving it to you whether or not to respond. Doctor making an social commentary. However, that just wouldn't do. Define emergency. Yeah. Anyway, cyborg AR designers try to keep the interface as unobtrusive as possible. But there are times when one really does need all that data on display. This is where augment mode comes in. Now, I know it sounds a bit like augmented reality, but just think of it as an additional It's the Microsoft HoloLens. Okay, fine. So what's it do? It uses local Soliton radar and XIFF data to do things such as analyze and display enemy position and numbers. It also has a starlight scope and thermal goggle functionality for a host of night vision capabilities. The entire image is digitally processed, making it much easier to read than earlier thermal goggles. Yeah, I'd noticed that. Used in a well-lit area, your perceived brightness will be affected, but it won't hinder vision too much. The same type of sensor is used for all functionality. The data sent out by each one is merged together as part of the techno lore. processing. All you need to worry about is turning the individual functions on and off. Simple, yes? Sure, Doc. Simple. The chat wanted me to do this. Why the fuck not? Oh, balls that one up. I forgot about the left hand stuff. The chat made you skip a tutorial. Whoa. No shit. Too late? I can't go back? Oh, the gate closed even though I broke the lock. I, oh, I just grabbed that out of nowhere. Out of thin air. I made magical miracles appear. And I fucked that one up. Oh, I got an A, though. Cutting off the left hand just gets you more points. Yeah. It's still nice, though. Sturdy tree. Blue square on hand instead of red one. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. 
I sleep all night and I work all day. Strong, strong metals. So there's quite a few combos. Y, slight pause, then X. Y, slight pause. Okay, so there's there's the slight pause thing. Like, um, Bayonetta. that you like cutting boxes here's four boxes or more that you can just destroy for your own personal box sadism needs platinum knows what's up they know what you want they know what you need need to stop moving when you start talking Boris like we can we can move at full speed while you're talking I can listen and run I'm riding the dates you eat them having trouble with the camera controls but it's either this or the other controls make no sense so I'm, I'm just gonna stick with this him talking was a mask of loading time on the console versions I, I, I believe that Guard against love. Dryden, what's happening? Your heart rate spike. Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. He's more concerned about looking cool than he is getting loved. Doc, Let's see what the doctor has better, to say Doc. about this. But I'm still able to function? Function, yes. But no longer able to perform any action that would require a sizable amount of energy. But even when your gauge reads zero, you retain basic movement. You can walk around and swing your sword. Use this time to absorb more electrolytes from your enemies. Recharge your cells as soon as possible. Roger that. Raiden, the Mistral woman. Is she truly a full body cyborg? That's what the intel says, at least. Why? You notice something? Indeed. Two somethings, in fact. Based on their movements, her chest region did not appear to be artificial. <laughs> just you that? You can tell that <laughs> just from what I saw? What? Indeed. 
After something Whoa, that was a weird indeed. I am 80% certain that is her own natural torso. If it is indeed the cyborg, Jesse, it is the most advanced I have ever seen. Such technology would not come cheap. It would mean whoever is backing Desperado is likely quite wealthy. Probably so. As far as Miss Trowell goes, it really doesn't matter to me. Natural, synthetic, man, woman, an enemy is an enemy. Ah, are you not even the least? Come on, victorious? Raiden, please! Humor me! How is your eye, Raiden? Great. My sight's perfectly balanced between both eyes. I think my vision's improved, actually. Quite right, quite right. Your eye patch houses an artificial compound eye unit. The unit contains over 200 million solid state image sensors. This is Raiden gets a lens. stiffy when he hears this shit. Megapixels, huh? Doesn't sound like all that. Much. Real chess? More than Who cares? For the application. A human's optic nerve has only about a million fibers, you know. Were we to add more sensors, your perceived vision would not improve. There's only so much modern image compression technology can do. Huh. So I shouldn't expect any more dramatic improvements to my eyesight? No, your brain would no longer be able to process any more visual information in real time. Still, compared to previous ACEs, yours has 1.4 times the resolution and a superior compression algorithm. It may only result in a slight perceived change, but it could wind up making the difference during a mission. Regrettably, I have not had enough time to develop a new eyeball unit just yet. Thus, I have cut out the ability to deploy the ACE unit separately and simply installed it on a fixed eye patch. Works for me. If I was using an eye unit, I wouldn't see any better than a regular human. Ah, but remember, the human eye is so much more than a simple light receptor. They play a vital role in person-to-person... -person the caveat is that you only perceive things in 24 frames a second. Stuff like that's important for some A cats, full cinematic sure. 24 not, frames. Not so much. And with less moving parts, the lower the chance of something going wrong. <laughs> Besides, I like it. Well, I'm very pleased to hear this. It's okay, the human brain cannot perceive more than 24 frames. Mission. The only thing of Raiden, what's what's left of him that's that's actually human? Is it just his brain? It's just his brain is hooked up to like artificial limbs and that, Kev? stuff. The woman with Dolzayev. That's Miss Trial? Yep. The only female member of the Winds of Destruction. Wait, is the this Phil is Lamar? From a cold, dry regional wind in France that blows from the Alps down to the Mediterranean. She French? Yep. Born in Algeria, though. It was a French colony until they declared independence in the early 60s. Ah, <laughs> but you already knew that. Yeah. They were the last French colony in Africa. You know your history. Oh, it's, it the is Phil Lamar. It's Vamp's voice actor. Bied Noir, they're called. I've heard the term. The main character in that Camus novel, The Stranger, was one. Fucking Marvin. Find a lot of Algerians who've immigrated to France, although they put a stop to that a while ago. Yeah, a lot of European countries seem to be clamping down on immigration lately. Miss Stroll joined the Foreign Legion to get her citizenship. A woman legionnaire? And not the first. There was one that served in the North Africa campaign during World War II. Anyway, Miss Stroll's been doing PMC work ever since her Legion discharge. We're not sure why she went cyborg. She's officially leading the force at the refinery, but she is also a combatant. I don't have anything on her combat style, but do not underestimate her. The Winds of Destruction are trained killers, all of them. They didn't let her in because of her looks. I don't need a reminder. I won't let my guard down. Yeah, but, um, speaking of her looks, she's got, well, I mean, a couple of I mean, huge... Look, just don't get distracted, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you should take your own advice there, Kev. Wow, Kev made Raiden laugh for the first time and it was a boob joke. Truly a man after my own heart. Titanium garbage trash bins. It took him that long to notice that I was even here. Wow, 
Wow, I can't fucking see because the, the camera is preventing me from moving in the appropriate direction. Oh, I was unable to pick it up. I got an arm. It appears that man underwent modification at the Patriot facility, just as you did. Yeah, I tried parrying, but the camera was kind of screwing me up. It was like switching with lightning quick. Either that or I'm just a moron, which is just as likely, to be honest. But I will try. I, trust me, it's not for lack of trying. Whoa, what the fuck? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Yo, the game just put me in this area. It just warped me over here. What the fuck was that shit? I want to do the thing. Oh, I, I lost the opportunity. Why, 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 why? Fucker. Don't touch me. <laughs> Articulating robot spleens. Oh, that sounds good. Um, so I'm going to be ending a little earlier tonight. I don't. Um, I don't want to end it for again. Because like I said, next week is, is Comic-Con week. Wow, I did- oh, uh, that sucks. It didn't give me a chance to... ...do the thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'd be ending kind of shortly. And this will definitely be revisited soon. Metal Gear Rising revisited. I don't think I got his arm. Get to Mistral. I can maybe do that. Have some sort of climax for the stream. You know, figurative, figuratively and literally. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. How you long is that? If you wish, it is your choice. Right. The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old. Mistral's an hour away. Oh, never mind then. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Yeah, that, that's probably. too long for me, guys. I'm sorry. Don't I'm get cocky. Most likely, it is Desperado running security down there. I can't actually 
I can't go that long. If it was only like another minute or so, I thought it was going to be real quick. Even 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I still have to do a boss fight. So let me be responsible. And instead of streaming for another half hour to hour, potentially, I'm going to quit. I thank you for your patience, everyone. I understand that you, you're enjoying this and you want to see more of it. But it'll definitely happen on another occasion. Um, like I said, I got to be responsible because I got to get up early for Comic-Con. And if I continue going to bed as late as I've been, that's bad. Okay, that's bad. I have enough for some good stuff here. I'll save, don't worry. Thunder strike. Sweep kick. Special upward thrust. Um I'm an utter bunk. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I remember all of your names. I know all of you. Oh, when you unlock one skill, you get more skills. I think you guys need to chill. Because next stream, I'll do it. And, and keep in mind, too, like I said, I really, really want to, um, you know, do the art now. Yeah, I, I definitely do read the chat, Titanium, and I, I love being called a fucking idiot because I have to go to bed. You absolute wonderful human being. Thank you so much for watching the stream. I love you. Roasted. Listen, we got to do this. We gotta actually have some form of restraint for once in, in my streaming career. Otherwise, the streams are just gonna keep ending at 4.30. However, this game is awesome. We got two hours in. And uh, I'm really, really excited for the future of the stream. So, game is save. It's auto-save. That's okay, Titanium. I don't mind. But um, it's great. The game is awesome. I love it. I, I actually am so excited to finally be playing this. I had the Xbox 360 version, and the reason I didn't play that is because people were telling me the PC version was better and is the definitive version of the game. So I never played the 360 version just because I have so many other games that I've been streaming, so many other games I've been playing. Um, every time I started up a new game, there was always like one or a few people saying, Vinny, you got to play Metal Gear Revi uh, Rising. You got to play Metal Gear Revising. Do it next. And I was like, I will. I will. And then they were like, dude, dude, you're doing Metal Gear. Do Metal Gear Rising. So I delayed. I procrastinated. Because as you know, I have to enjoy a game for the stream to be enjoyable. And this is the perfect time for this game right now. I maybe, maybe wasn't about three months ago, but now it definitely is. So, it's good. It's very good. And um, Bayonetta 2, like I said, is one of my top three Wii U games. So, if you guys have played um, Metal Gear and you're looking for a game that's as good, if not better, I would recommend Bayonetta 2. But, like I said, don't, don't, do not fear. We will continue this stream. Super Mario Sunshine and some other stuff really soon. And uh, that'll probably be maybe in the next few days, early next week. So definitely stick around for that.